Hello everyone. Once again, this is Dare to Speak. I've been noticing lately on YouTube, on the news and stuff like that, gang truths that are happening. Um, one organization that's been, uh, that involves uh, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg the rapper and a bunch of other people and they're like uniting the bloods and the crips together for peace to stop the blood shit and try to end the senseless violence and also to the police corruption I hope it does well you know against that as well to try to minimize it at least but I do believe that the gang truce thought it could actually help out tremendously. And I know that it could actually work for the Hispanic gangs. I said a lot already on the gang history of the Latin Kings, the Spanish Cobras, and the Maniac Latin Disciples. I did an old school gang history in all three of them. And I know there's other gangs like the Imperial Gangsters, um, Satan Disciples and stuff and you know and so on. Which I never did a, uh, any gang history on that even though one person requested that. I might get around to it, I don't know. But the, the point is I could see a positive um, a way of uniting even the Hispanic gangs, you know, in Chicago and in every other place where they actually have uh, these three types of gangs. Especially where I live, where there's Spanish Cobras and Latin Kings that are still active here in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's very difficult to even imagine a gang truce with these particular gangs. Difficult, but not impossible. Anything is possible. One example was a tragedy that happened or a man, a young man by the, by the name of Black Benji, who was um, killed in some kind of um, gang war. And people from this one particular gang, the Ghetto Brothers, wanted to set up a meeting with all the gangs of New York. And you know, the, the, the list goes on and on. You know, the Saints, uh, the Seven Immortals, the Black Spades, and, and you know, you know, like I said, the list goes on and on. And even though they started off with um, their disagreements and stuff like that, there was no fights, nothing got out of control. And of course the police all were there and they were asked to leave, but they were still hanging around to make sure that no one, nothing got out of hand and nothing did. And they actually got together in the boys club to talk about peace, to actually unify and not to do anything stupid. It's like saying, come on, man, enough is enough. We, we, we can't keep fighting each other. All of us are, fuck we're all in the same boat. We're all fucking suffering. We're all going through a lot of bullshit. And we fight, and what the fuck is that doing? What, what good does that, what good, good does that do? You know what I mean? What, do you, what kind of positive shit can we get out of it? Nothing. And the way they were they were talking to each other and, and selling selling out selling out their uh, settling out their differences, it really made an impact. And at the end of the of the meeting, the all all the the warlords, the all the people, the, the, the high ranking uh, leadership of a very gang, they all united together, and they all 
agreed on peace. And there's actually video footage of it. So they all agreed on it, they said peace, and then one guy in the crowd said right on. Everybody started uh, clapping and and then the meeting ended right there. Of course it was short lived. Not because of uh, some of them just decided to not give a shit about the gang troops. It's not because of that. It's because when gangs unite in harmony, not to fight each other, because if you really, th like if you really think about it, what I explained in, in, in my videos of the three gangs that I mentioned about how they actually started, they started to protect each other and protect the black from bullies and even corrupted cops or whatever. They wanted to help help each other out. That was way before they, um, they became thugs and started hurting people. It's all because they were, they were seen as a threat because they could actually get involved in the civil rights movement, in which the Latin Kings at one point did in the early 60s. In the early 60s, right before they even Right before their downslide, they were actually helping people to vote. They were just them to vote. They're, uh, they're helping them fight for their civil rights. And one time, uh, as from our, what I remember, even the Spanish Cobras wanted to get involved in the political uh, part. And I remember in one video from, from 1983 in which uh, this, this, uh, the leader of, of, of the Spanish Crobos in that, in that, uh, at that time wanted, was helping out this one, um, mayor or someone who's, who wanted to run for mayor. And, uh, they wanted to get jobs. They wanted to, uh, in, you know, stay out of trouble the best they can. And it's really rough. It's hard, it's hard for them to try to be, to go straight when there's so many problems going on. And then they were, they were doing something, something positive. And they didn't want um, people that were in, in gangs in their ranks helping out uh, the, the, the mayor or helping out the person who wants to become mayor or whatever it was, if, if I remember correctly. When either the government or whoever it is that, that finds them as a threat, because if you really think about it, if these gangs were to become like community activists if they would become like an organization to help promote uh, a strong and peaceful community. That's bad news for, for, you know, whoever you want to call them, for these crooked politicians or people that are connected with the government and stuff like that. You don't want that to happen, so they actually pour drugs into the community so, so, and then the poverty, the poverty got so, so, uh, so bad and drugs was the only thing that would help, you know, get money and earn money off of it. And then people were, there wasn't, uh, any kind of way of doing anything peaceful with it because there was a lot of competition. Spanish Cobras were fighting against the maniac Latin disciples and, and so on. Latin Kings were fighting with so-and-so and they were killing each other or because he wanted to make money to get out of poverty. And of course, there's, there's a lot of corrupted people who just didn't give a fuck and they started hurting, you know, they, they jump people and beat people up, getting drunk, getting high, and just acting fucking stupid and just being thugs. And that's not what the original idea of the Latin Kings, the Spanish Corpus and the Maniac Latin Disciples were about. That's not what they were about when they first started. In the, in the early 50s, so that's not uh, for the Latin Kings and the Spanish Cobras and the 1960s for the Maniac Latin Disciples. That's not what it was about. They started off as a very strong club who actually wanted to help improve the community. And that was before the corruption, that was before all the bad shit happened. My point is, uniting these gangs in, to start to start off fresh because they know that violence is not going to help you know the greed and stuff like that is, is, is going to be very difficult
but not impossible. And like I said before, even in one video, I'm going to say this again right now. If, if promoting peace and uniting gangs together is, is a truce, no more violence, no more just to help each other out, and not to be at war with each other, if that could happen, which it did in the 70s in the Boys Club in New York, it could happen in Chicago, it could happen here, it could happen anywhere. Things can get better. It was done once already before. It could be done again today. Right now it could be done. You just have to believe. And this is for all the Hispanics, for every other minority, blacks and, and stuff like that, for even the black gangs, everybody. Whites, doesn't matter. We can get better. We can do better. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, you know what to do. And to all of you, this is Dare to Speak. Take care.